Here I am in our camper, Ivy. She looks really empty right now because she's parked outside of where we're staying for the winter months. So I wanted to tell a little story of our transition from living in Hawaii and coming back to Wisconsin and then living out of our van, our minivan, um, and then living in our camper. And now we moved our camper from the countryside to the city life. When we were in Hawaii, we knew that we were gonna, we wanted to come back to Wisconsin. That's where Brandon, my lover, is from. And we wanted to feel rooted for at least a year because both of us in our own journey before we met and throughout our relationship have been really mobile. So we've moved and yeah, changed our environment, our habits and our routine obviously due to traveling. And that's beautiful. It brought so much to our lives, but we both felt like we wanted to feel more settled and more stable and more rooted, really. So we decided to come to Wisconsin. Uh, Brandon had a job planned out for the summer season, working at a farm, and so I joined him. We intended to live out of our van because Brandon was working full time at this farm. So it was just easier to be near the farm. And so we moved to the farm, living or technically sleeping in our minivan. You can't really live out of a minivan. Maybe you could, but we want, we wanted to, yeah, feel, I don't know. It's too crammed living in a minivan. Anyways, um, with the help of the owners of this beautiful organic farm, it's a CSA farm, and wow, it is so beautiful. With the help of them and the available space that they could provide for us to cook um, and shower, we actually <laughs> figured out a way to shower outside with a camping bag. Initially, we were using the hose from their well water, but in May, using well water, it was, it was intense. So we quickly figured out a plan and we were showering outside in this little alleyway in the facility that they have. Um, yeah, with a shower bag that we would heat up water and then mix it up with well water and it was all nice. But yeah, so that happened for, wow, May, June, July, three months. We were sleeping in our van actually after some months or some weeks. Uh, Brandon and I realized that the van was actually too tight for both of us. So he pitched up his tent outside of the van. We would park it in this beautiful spot in the farm that had this oh ancient wisdom maple tree and we parked right underneath it and would hear owls in the night we would hear pheasants waking us up oh it was it was really beautiful um so yeah that was kind of our lives for a little bit until I kind of hit a breaking point because I was kind of tired of trying to figure out where we were going to cook and they did, I'm really fortunate and grateful that they did have this gigantic fridge for their produce of the farm. Um, so we would keep our food there, but it was just a hassle because we'd have to clean everything up real, really nice after every meal because the workers would use that facility during the day or stuff like that. So it was tough. 
So I told Brandon, and I was looking for a while, keeping my eye peeled, for a camper. Because, yeah, I love the idea of living more mobily and living more minimal and having kind of everything in one tiny space. We found this camper. It was like, it was crazy looking for a camper because they would sell out within minutes of being um, posted on Facebook Marketplace. So we found this one, quickly rushed to get there. I was in love with it because it was in such good qual condition um, for its age is 20 years old. So yeah, I really loved it and the price was really nice. It was definitely a little bit over our budget, but still very affordable. So with my desperation of not wanting to sleep in the van anymore and to like figure all that out, cooking, showering, all of that, I convinced, we worked together, Brandon and I, to buy our beautiful camper. This is from us trying to winterize it. It did work, although it is peeling up here. So we bought it. It was uh, such a beautiful experience that first time. Oh my God. We were here. It was all amazing. And it still is such a beautiful place to come and hang out. But slowly, as the weather of fall and winter were creeping in, we realized that it was just going to be a lot more intense to keep this place livable and without damaging certain things that could be damaged due to improper heating during the winter and we just had to do a lot more things to make it livable and also actually the biggest thing for me was that we were going to be using a lot of electricity to run space heaters to heat this place up. It does have a furnace, which works perfectly, but the furnace seems to create more moisture in the air. And we were already dealing with moisture issue due to, you know, condensation in the windows. The, these did help a little bit, but they still, there was still condensation like when we would cook or yeah, just from even just sometimes the sun that would come in here and then the cold that was outside. I don't know. This place maintains the heat really well. It was just that the moisture situation in the colder days was kind of, yeah, borderline not good. Like borderline we were going to get mold if we weren't keeping up with drying it and airing it out and running space heaters and stuff. So... For me, the main thing was not wanting to use that much electricity to maintain this place dry and also warm. And the, another fact is that there, uh, I, I don't know exactly how it works or like why that happens, but the um, we can only run essentially one thing at a time. So if we had the blender running, we would have to turn off the space heater. Or if we were cooking something, we'd have to turn off the space heater and only use that appliance. Um, we do have um, gas stove that we would use, but um, yeah, we were using an Instapot to cook a lot of our meals. So yeah, it was kind. Of, that's another like drawback. Um, anyways. So, for a while, we were actually f trying to figure out, like, trying to make this work for us for the winter. Um, and, yeah, the big thing was electricity. Another thing was that where we were parked at the... Oh, because we moved, actually. We moved from the beautiful um, spot up by the maple tree to near like near the facility so we could connect to electricity and run a hose to like fill up the tank every other day 
um, and drain it. We had we were close to a ditch that we would drain the water. It was just gray water because we switched out the chemical toilet with a compost toilet and we had a space where we would put our compost toilet fillings <laughs> so yeah we were for a while trying to figure it out I was kind of nervous because yeah I didn't want to just I don't know I wanted to figure it out so yeah we did have help from friends and people that were offering their space that we could park it and rent um, but ultimately going back to the idea of me, of us thinking that it was going to use a lot of electricity, um, ideally in our next camper, that will be a thing in our next camper. I want to have install a wood burning stove. <laughs> Sounds so cozy and exciting. If we are going to be spending time in the winter. So, we'll see. Anyways, but we figured something out that we were also wanting more space. And that is a dilemma that I still am figuring out because I love how cozy it is. But I also don't like how, like, lack of space there is. And it also moves a lot. Like... We were thinking, you know, to remodel some spaces, like the bedroom area, which is on the other side of the camper, um, and make it kind of a bedroom so we could do yoga and do different things. But when you're doing stuff like movements, intense movements or whatever, the whole camper shakes. So it is kind of annoying to like, if I want to break out and dance, I have to do it outside. <laughs> So it's just, yeah, funny and interesting. And I dance a lot, so I have to, like, be more still and, like, be cautious of not wanting to disturb Brandon with the whole house shaking. Um, <laughs> so we moved to the city! I actually feel really happy about this decision. Even though I love the countryside and it's so quiet it's just like so serene like blissful I'm excited for change and for the opportunities that a city brings to individuals I was I'm very social and I was missing I'm still missing I will look for opportunities to interact with other people and also because of COVID um, it has obviously not allowed us to, or allowed me to be more social, um, to join events or, you know, art galleries or art, you know, like going to do ceramics or going to whatever. Um, so yeah, but I am excited to be here to yeah, just have more space. We are renting a room with our friends. I mean, no. We're renting a room from our friend's house and they are super nice and allowed us to park our camper outside of their house. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And I feel so good that we have more space, that Brandon and I are not on each other's neck the whole time time like all day every day um and that I can move around dance do yoga do like have my space of silence and just like quiet I don't know silence but also my own space where other people are not in it or doing stuff I don't know <laughs> so yeah the question that comes up the question that comes up for me and for Brandon now that we are so happy, like having more space, is do we want to do camper life, van life, tiny living? I don't know. I will do another video talking about that and trying to figure that out for myself and for us. All right. <laughs> This video is super lengthy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, 
yeah, let me know. Let me know if you've had any experience where with living in a small space or yeah. Talk to you in another video. Oh, you're good. <laughs>